Hi students, in psychology today I am going to take a e-content of Raymond Bernard Cattell and uh, his theory and develop, uh, personality development of a cattle theory. His words are more concerned with describing behavior than explaining it. He describes uh, more than behavior explaining. Um, uh, describing the questions is not worthy, but with behavior uh, we can explain the concern thing. He is a British and Britishian an American uh, psychologist. Uh, he studied in University of London and he, do, uh, he did his uh, PhD in 1929. Wha who was known for? What he uh, gives the three points are fluid and crystallized intelligence. Sorry, it's a spelling mistake. Crystallized in, uh, intelligence. Big five personality traits. 16 personality factors. Uh, this, these are the three mo main points he says in the theory. And his personality was permits a prediction of what a person do in a given situation. A, a person give, uh, his personality says that he, uh, he has some prediction a person give her uh, do in a given situation. Then first see the fluid and crystallized intelligence. This is the spelling of crystallized. Um, in a uh, fluid situation, uh, intelligence means ability to develop techniques for solving problems. Uh, in that, uh, uh, in the age of um, small ages, we can't able to know the solving problems, but we have to develop the ability to solve their problems. Uh, crystallized uh, intelligence means ability to use acquire knowledge for problem solving. We have that knowledge how to solve the problem and uh, have ideas and intelligence. The two kinds of gentle intelligence they are fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. That is composed of a number of different abilities that interact and work together together to produce overall individual intelligence. It is. Uh, it have number of abilities to interact with each other, but it produces an individual and uh, individual ability to show themselves. Uh, then fluid intelligence, ability to reason abstractly and think flexibly. It uh, it will think flexible, consider independent of learning experience and education. It, it also gives some experience and learning. It will be not dependent, only independent. Decrease after adolescence. If um, the students are the person become adolescent, it will be decreases. Then some of the examples are identify patterns, solving puzzles, developing programs, developing problems, um, solving strategies, filtering and irrelevant information, avoiding mental fixedness, uh, to see uh, outside of the box and uh, do not follow the rules and regulations that like. Then crystallized intelligence means the knowledge and verbal and uh, numerical skills obtained through learning and experience. It is only based on knowledge and skills through learning experience. Factors and rooted experience increase with age. It, uh, it will uh, increase in the age by age. Examples are reading comprehension and vocabulary exam. The next one is differentiation of uh, uh, fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. It is the uh, ability to reason and think. It will uh, gain information of knowledge uh, through the lifetime. Uh, neurophysical um, based based means it depends on the state of brain and nervous system. Applica it, it is um, crystallized uh, based on um, application of skills and knowledge problem solving. Minimal dependence on school learning or articulation, educational dep dependent. Inductive reasoning means uh, inductive reasoning problem solving. Verbal and general knowledge. It is nature, it is nurture. And next one is big five personality traits. What means openness to experience, constituentness, extroversion, ag agreeableness, neurotism. First see the openness to experiences. Penis openness to experiences. It is imagination, courtesy, the enjoyment of abstract thinking and ideas and attunement towards personal emotion. It only give the open ideas and give, uh, show others to the uh, emotion, emotions and other things. It also has a it also has liberalization, imagination, artistic, intellect, emotional, and adventurous. Then, constitutions, uh, behaviors associated with um, competence, order, dutifulness, at attitude towards achievement, self-discipline, and planning. It, uh, it also that self-discipline, and it, it based on only discipline. Ex extraversion, a measure of sociability and outgoingness associated with warmth, um, assertiveness, energy, excitement, seeking, and positive emotion. These are the friendliness and uh, cheerfulness, excitement. This is extraversion. Then agreeableness, agreeableness, attitudes about the good goodness and trustworthiness of others, and ability to emphasize with others. It will uh, give the ability to emphasize with others. What is sympathy, trust, morality, and cooperation, modesty. Neurotism. Neurotism means tendency for emotional in instability measured by the facts of annexity, angry, hostility, depression, self consciousness, impulsivity, and vulnerability. Neurotism means uh, annexity, anger, and that only. Then, um, in the cattle state, it has six personality fa factors. They are warmth. Um, it has uh, 
six personality fa- fa- factors they are warm tense control self sufficient experimenting apparative showed im- imagination suspicious tender minded bold consciousness enthusiastic dynamic um, emotional stable abstract thinker these are the 16 p of personality test of cattle theory after extensive factor analytic research cattle concluded that there are approximately 16 so traits that constitute by underlying structure of personality this is the cattle theory of personality thank you